Here is the another interesting project which you are going to learn with the help of macros VBA that when I click on control B automatically here bold comes when I click on control C here copy comes not only just by clicking but if I move my arrow keys from the keyboard automatically it gives me everything so how this is happening if you will use a Excel normal VLOOKUP it can't be done with that VLOOKUP because here there is an event of clicking that when a user clicks when a cell is changed that time it gives you the answer so for example if I click on remember here it shows me to subscribe and share here it comes trainer Ramzan Rajani here it comes control Z undo so how basically it is done so you will learn this in next quick few minutes so let's get started so I will quickly close this file and I will open a fresh file and I am going to explain you step by step how it is done so let's get started so now I have this file friends and uh, when I click in this file control B control C nothing is happening so how do you start the project the first thing is you should have a base for it so for example when I click on control B it should give me bold over here right so from where Excel will fetch so you should have a database for it so I am going to the right side of my sheet and here is the behind scene and here I have written all the shortcuts with its key so over here I have all the shortcuts mentioned over here and its description now the first step is you will open a VBA editor so to do this project you should already know how do you record a macro how do you run a macro if you don't know that it will be challenging project for you so let's get started so open a VBA editor what is the shortcut that we press we press alt F11 so I will press alt F11 and my VBA editor has opened now friends when I click on it on another cell that is known as a change event it means I am changing from one cell to the another cell okay so I will come over here and the first thing is I will go to my sheet one which is the name of that sheet okay and I will click over here in general and over here I will say worksheet so each worksheet has different events okay so I click on worksheet and over here you will see automatically he has took a selection change event it means whenever there is a change in selection means from one cell to another there is a change automatically some actions should happen so now let's get started if you wanted to see more events friends so over here you can click and you can see more events for this project we are taking a change event selection change event okay so the first thing is we have to understand and we have to tell Excel that when a user clicks on any cell what is the value so Excel should capture the value so when I click on a1 a2 cell Excel should remember that in a2 cell there is control a so over here you will define one variable in which everything will be stored so any name whatever name you want you can give it so here I am giving a name selected cell so I will come over here and I will type selected cell equal to active cell dot value so I say active cell dot value it means whatever user has selected you take the value of that cell and save it under the selected cells this is the first very simple code you have to put it after that you have to do the VLOOKUP now when you do VLOOKUP in Excel macros VLOOKUP needs one variable where you have to store so here I will define another variable with the name result so I say result equal to you have to use VLOOKUP what is VLOOKUP VLOOKUP is a worksheet function and what is worksheet function it's in the application so even you can write directly worksheet function but here I am going one more level ahead so I will say application 
dot and over here you get different types of functions so I want a worksheet functions which function I need again I press dot and you will get L all the functions count count if whatever you wanted to apply formulas so I want VLOOKUP function so I say Excel application dot worksheet function dot VLOOKUP and you will open a bracket you remember what we do in VLOOKUP first we select what cell you wanted to search so normally you select an employee code or an employee ID a2 so here you want whatever user has selected so here you will say selected cells so you will once again open a bracket and over here you will say selected cell so I am seeing Excel to search a selected cells which user has selected then you will put comma what is the second step in we look up where to search so I will say Excel search this whatever user has selected search it in the range I to J because my database is from I to J so I will say over here search in I to J it will search in I column and will pull the data from J and pull again you will put comma then what is the third argument in we look up which column you wanted to pull so I wanted to pull the column number two again you will put comma and over here you will put zero and in the end you will close the bracket that's all so now this main bracket you have closed it over here and this bracket again is closed for this and this bracket is for this so it's very simple you will press enter and now you want a final result over here in this cell you want and this cell is which cell this is your A4 cell, right? So I will say Excel in A4 cell, you put that value. So I will say over here Excel range A4 dot value. What should come in this? The result should come. So I will say over here result. That's all. My project is completed, friends. Okay, so now what I did first, I just selected a cell in which user will select. When a user selects, that value will be saved in this variable. Then I typed a VLOOKUP, but with the help of macros VBA. And the result of that VLOOKUP, I have stored in this result. And then I told Excel range A4 dot value equal to result that's all now when I click on B2 it's giving you bold Wow <laughs> control C copy control D duplicate I click on remember and I'm getting this over here so it's so simple to do friends when I'm clicking over here and everything is coming is not this interesting project and you have learned something very interesting over here how do you define a variable how do you type the VLOOKUP function and how do you complete this project okay so I hope this have increased your knowledge but normally you have to do lots of practice for this just by seeing it will not happen when you try on your own once twice thrice then only you will be able to become master in macros VBA thank you so much and see you in another video with more interesting project thank you so much